Hi guys, this is Peggy from the Paper Bumblebee. I bought this tea uh, box and it's wood and I wanted to decorate it so I thought I'd take you along. So what I wanted to do is uh, mod podge it with some napkins. So what you need is, uh, need is the teapot of the tea box, some napkins, uh, I thought these would be uh, really nice. Some mud podge, a little sponge a brush thingy, some ink, and maybe a sanding block. So, what I did is I sanded the, the sides just a bit so that it's nice and smooth and there's nothing irregular or sticking or anything on there especially the corners and then when you're done you should take a, a cloth and just wipe off all the dust like so okay then you take your napkins and they are in three ply just take uh, two off the the back two and just use the front one and well you have to decide how you want it so this is really narrow I don't know if you can see this let me just adjust the camera quickly so you can have a look and see what side you want or what picture you want on the side so if you want it like this or just take the top and you can have like this or maybe the I need the roses like so or maybe even just the scripture so I think on the front, what I want is the rose part, so I'm going to start with that, I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see it, okay so you take your mud porch, I'm just going to open it quickly. Okay, it's not going to be quickly. Take a little scissor or something and try to open this. Up. Okay, I've got some stuff on here. I'm just going to. Okay, messier than I thought. Just get it open. Okay. So you take some mud podge and give it a layer. Just a good amount, not too much, and not too little. It has to stick nicely. Then you put the part you want on there on the sides like so. And I'm not going to uh, give it a layer on top. I, I don't mind the crinkles. I like that. That gives it a, like an, a little bit more of an aged look. So I'm just going to leave it like this and uh, going to ink it up before I put a layer on there as well for you have to put another layer on top to seal it so I'm gonna leave this like this for now and I'm gonna um, you can cut it with a scissor the edges or you can take a wet brush just a 
just have a look if I can cut this. You can cut this with a, your scissor. Or you can, I cut this with a scissor, or you can take a wet brush and just go along the edges and then you can tear it easily. And the sides and then the back as well. Any brush, just wet it and then it tears really easy. And when it's dry, you can easily take that off. Okay, so that's one side. Now you turn your box. And you do the next side. Put some light podge on again. Good amount. Okay, and then part of your napkin. Um, I think on this side I might try the scripture. Could also be really nice. And just a bit crinkly, not too much. Like so. I uh, hope you can see this. I'm just gonna adjust the camera quickly. Okay, so I hope you can see a little better now. Okay, now you take your wet brush again and make sure it sticks everywhere, especially the corners. And just go with your wet brush along the edges so that you can tear the napkin. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, I just saw this little corner is not sticking that well. Okay, we got this side. Okay, I like that. Then now we can do the other side. What can we do? Maybe now that can. Then we we uh, I've got enough for one side, so I'm going to take another napkin. And I think I'm going to do um, put the roses on the front and maybe on the back. And then I'm going to do the other side with the, the top of the uh, napkin. Just take caution to do the corners really good. to stick really nicely okay take this and do this piece okay Water brush around the edges to tear it. This side and on the bottom. Okay, and then the back side. Gonna do some roses again. Then I also want to see if I can do something on the top. Piece. 
too much, but enough. It's not sticking, it's just sticking because of the water, so that's fine. Okay, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to dry it quickly and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is dry now. I think first what we should do is take a um, your sanding block and just sand off the rest of the napkin before you destroy otherwise you are just I'm sorry for the screaming kids are playing outside not my kids but sand the edges off and it's really nice and smooth when you do it like this you in a minute mm, can you see what I'm doing okay back side Okay, I've done all the size now. Okay, then we're gonna do the distress. That's better. Um, stress inks. Side. Last side, I think you're going to see it the best on this side. Okay, then if you're not, hap not happy, completely happy, uh, Yet, then you can take your soft brush and you just go over it. If it's too white, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I like that look. Edge it up. Here it's not that necessary. It's got that look already. Here you can do it. Okay. And I was just thinking it might even be nice to do some, some more stamping. 
and I'm going to take my Stazon ink and grab a stamp with some wording this one and just stamp some places just a bit this has got stamping already so I was thinking over here might be nice to have some stamping as well it's not super visible but it gives a nice effect okay this side before we seal it in. Just sticking that down. Um, maybe okay. I've got the dab over the tea dye and just put some have a look if this is nice blodges on there hope you can see that yeah well, that's quite nice Put on there I mm, wonder if it will show up here let's have a look not really just clean that up quickly and then on here. Okay, every ink everywhere. <laughs> okay, I just have to finish off or wait till that's dry. I'll just dry it quickly. Okay, that's dry, I think, I hope. Now we're going to give it another layer of our Mud Podge and it might seem really white on here but it, when it dries it's all clear let's give it a nice thick coat then you can, you'll be finished in one coat Just nicely around it, like so, and then the other side, the front. I like it. It's nice. Corners. Okay. Gonna dry these uh, three sides quickly and then do the last side. This is doing the last side. Uh, open the little door.
You don't have to use a sponge brush thingy. You can also use just an ordinary brush if you want to. It's all fine. Just uh, be sure not uh, to, to use a brush that doesn't um, loses the little hairs on in the brush. Okay, like so. And that was it for now. And I'm gonna dry this quickly. Just gonna put some back in the little jar. This sponge sucks a lot of the mud podge. Okay, just gonna dry that quickly. Okay, the end result I would like to show. This is the one side, other side, the back side, and the other side. I think it really looks nice. What do you think? Now I'm gonna do something with the front. Okay, I was thinking what can I do for the front. So what I've done, I sanded the front off a bit, just to make it a bit rougher and not that shiny and smooth. Then what I'm going to do is um, take parts of my napkin, but first I'm going to take some um, duct tape. I'm just going to get it quickly. And I'm going to stick it around here so that I can work freely. Okay, let me use the scissors. Just for some protection, it's not really glass, uh, or maybe it is. Anyway, for protection, I might just have a look if it's not nice, I might cover the, this as well, but for now I'm going to leave it. Okay, so I covered the inside. What I want to do now, that's just because I'm going to mud podge this, and I don't want mud podge all over the this plastic glass thingy um, but what I want to do is not oh yeah, this is nice I'm just going to mat podge and then put some pieces of the napkin on and have a look just like um, yeah, sort of collage um, let's try this quickly where is my little napkin just want to have a dry brush it's all a mess here sorry about that okay just gonna do one side first put some mud podge then take uh, pieces of the napkin that I like and put it on there and just cut it with scissors, that's easier faster and put it on Oh wow, you should you you should work really quickly for this is already dry. It dries really quick. Okay. 
Now I know. So, I'm gonna work piece by piece. I also got a fan on because it's really hot. That's why, maybe. One piece there. Sides. And some of the pink coming back as well. Don't want to just put on a strip or the Pink. Oh, this is a nice piece as well. Take a long piece. Like so. Okay. Just gonna dry that quickly. Okay, let's see. A couple of Sides off. This doesn't work. You can always use the water method. Just gonna do this quickly.
lot of tidy, a lot of tidying to do just off of this now. It's like a big mess. Okay, then the inside I'm just going to use some water. Take that off. So, this one, is that on screen? Yeah, I think so. Take this off and just leave your masking tape on there till the very end, or then you can take it off. Now it's still protected. I'm gonna still gonna use some inks and another layer of mud potch. And I'm debating if I should cover this up with some lace as well. Let's have a look quickly. Or maybe just pieces. No, that's not nice. Okay, first ink it up. First, first clean up, I think. Let's take um, some ink first the edges put you here and again the stress ink not the oxide Do the sides as well you can see me doing the sides as well And then the edges. And don't worry about little pieces that are loose. You can do that along the way or when you go over it just now again. You know, you can work on the inside for you've got the tape and it's protecting. And okay, ink it up. it up like so and uh, maybe some with a dabber on the open edges maybe like so and just take a tissue and take that away dry that up ok 
Okay. And then I'm going to dry it quickly. Okay, and now another layer of the mud porch. sides as well the insides maybe okay just have a look that you don't get big fat blodges and just wipe that away when you see that happening. Okay, this side. Glue everything down. Front as well, seal it all in. Okay, and then the last side. So the inside and then the outside. Okay, and now when you're finished, please don't forget to brush your or to wash your brush. That's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I clean my brush and I dried this as well. So let's take off the tape. clean all the inside just now okay I see there's some yucky stuff there I have to clean this quickly do that off screen just wipe it now and then the inside got all pieces of napkin lying around just clean that quickly and then I've got my altered tea box. I hope you like this. The sides. I hope you like this tutorial. Or yeah. And give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.